I want to tell you the truth. Tonight, you was a sensation. Your singing was fantastic. Oh, how You keep sing. singing like this, you got nothing to worry about. I don't know if you could become a star, but you'll make a comfortable living. <laughs> oh, I'm telling How's you. How's things? Things all right? Things are fantastic. Take my word, you are one of the great singers. Although, I'll tell you very truthfully, for a man as important as you, I really think singing shouldn't even be necessary. Let's be honest about it. Did you ever hear an important man sing? I always found that the greater the person, the less he sings. Throughout history, take a man like Albert Einstein. You ever hear him sing? <laughs> Danced a little, that's all. But he never sang. Played with numbers. Luckily, he never got caught, made a fortune. <laughs> well, uh, huh? Go ahead, I'm sorry. I want to ask you a question. Yeah, as well. long as you're not busy right now. Okay. Would you say, would you say that, uh, that you ever play with numbers? Only if they're 38, 24, 38. <laughs> the wrong impression. I was kidding you before about your singing. I'm not trying to say that music is not important. Music is very important. Mm. Music is a lot more important than what's going on in this country today, I'll tell you that. This obsession with sex. Mm. <coughs> Disgusting. Don't you think sex is dirty? I hope so. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. I'll tell you the truth, I don't think sex is dirty, but this obsession with it is disgusting. Every book about sex, every movie about sex, every play about sex, it's about time they realize there's more important things than sex. Why don't they talk about music? Don't you think music is more important than sex? I mean, for a man in your condition. <laughs> you want me to tell you the truth? I always thought music was more important, I always did. But then I started to notice that if I don't hear a concert for a year and a half, it don't bother me. <laughs> Let's be honest, Dean, I want to ask you a question. Did you ever see anybody get up five o'clock in the morning to hear a concert? <laughs> you ever see a guy call up his best friend and say, hello, Sam, have I got a concert for you? <laughs> you ever see a guy go into a strange town and say to a taxi driver, listen, you know where there's a hot concert in this room? <laughs> you ever see a guy give a bellhop a hundred dollars and say, here, send up a concert? <laughs> you ever see a house detective bang on a door and holler, get that concert out of here! <laughs> How much could you get for the best concert? Six dollars? And that's Paganini himself. The best, that's all he could get. You know what the wise girl gets in a massage parlor today? A fortune. And where do you think she gets the fortune from? Paganini. <laughs> How do you think Schubert would happen to write the Unfinished Symphony? He was sitting by the piano. He wasn't finished yet. <laughs> all of a sudden, this girl showed up and said, before I finish this, oi ya It's more important to get out of here. I'm late. I have to give Yul Brynner a haircut, and he's got a fantastic problem. How come? His scalp is falling out. Ah!